and we're live. I'm pretty sure. The only thing I don't like about AZ is the comments. Like, it's right here. You can't. I don't know if you can change that. Alright, so. Hopefully, there's not as much lag. And. Uh, I'll show you, like. Well, this is what I'm thinking. Because. Alright, let's see what this is. Bonus. Alright, let's go. I have to wait until tomorrow though. Alright, so we're logging in, loading, loading, and I think we're good. So I'll wait. <laughs> Blackout, Trippy Jack. Alright. So, you still need to power them up. Like, to evolve, you still need to power them up. So, I need two legendary elixirs and a fire or legendary to power him up to five and um to evolve him to six stars so what they did though is that now all heroes go to level 70 there's no level cap there's no level cap on any hero even one star one star can go to level 70 so now, what you're going to be seeing is level 1 heroes that are 6 stars. So you can do that now. 6 star a level 1 hero and then start working on them. If you have the resources. And the people that have soul stones are the pay to play people who buy them. Roll the heroes and then... You can just power them up if you have the ore, the extra ores lying around, the elixirs, and just star them up and evolve them. So now I think, I'm pretty sure now, uh, Awakening might be the way to go for some Skylanders. Like Kaboom, Kaboom might be an option since we don't, we're not going to be level capped anymore. And that's why a lot of people are saying that you should you should get them to level six because you should get them to six star because the grind for soul stones is gonna be way more than it is for than it is to power them up. So I think that you we should awaken kaboom now. Because it's just going to give him an AoE. And we're, we're not going to be capped at level 60. You can just keep going. Because from 60 to 70 it's a really long time. So I think powering him, powering him up. Is not going to make as much of an impact. Just a few stats compared to awakening him. Which is going to upgrade his skill. Into an AoE. So I do think that for Kaboom. It's going to be a good option to awaken him. But for somebody like Stealth Elf. Who's awakened skill. Doesn't really help her. All it does is give her cleanse. And for her it's not a good. Um, 
It's not a good idea to awaken her. So I actually got her up to 6 star. And then for her... Five mana to two mana? What? It reduces the cost of her skill from five all the way down to two mana? That's a huge upgrade. That is a huge upgrade, but getting 300 of her soul stones is a lot. It would take months and months to get her. So I'm just gonna 5 star her. I'm just gonna evolve her and then awaken her when I can. Now, have you seen the adventure thing? Like this? You're guaranteed minimum of 15. You can get more. It's minimum guaranteed 1 per run but you can get up to i've gotten three in one run so you could get uh like if you high roll support like if you one day you like high roll all of them and you get three per run you could get 30 soul stones um 30 45 soul stones in one day if you high roll and get three each run. So you can get like max 45 guaranteed soul stones. And then minimum is 15 guaranteed soul stones. In one day. So that's a huge upgrade. But then they completely nerfed the Omni stones. Like this. These, you minimum you get two, and max you get four. So, it's, it went from one, like from two guaranteed soul stones to max guaranteed one soul stone or uh, half a soul stone. So that's um, a huge nerf, because it's going to take way longer to farm them, since you need four. You need four. Like if you high roll and get twelve, that's still three. Three soul stones before you used to get six. So that's a huge nerf right there. And I honestly in my opinion, um kaboom got nerfed a lot because now you have to farm him in easy. Which drops one to one through three star runes, which aren't great. So I think I'm gonna start farming this guy, Igniter, because he's actually a good um hero. This guy is actually pretty decent, and. He's an attack Skylander, so you basically can farm scenario 1 normal to get extra extra Omni Stones, whatever, for, for him. And you get a minimum 15 guaranteed Soul Stones, which now that there's no level cap, we can actually... Just take him up all the way to level 70 and we're, we can see if his, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because farming Kaboom now, like, and he's, JT also uses him for B10, but the thing about him though is his skills use a lot of mana, 4 and 6 mana. He doesn't have a 2 mana skill or he doesn't have a, a charge skill. I think I think um, he might be an option now to farm up 
instead of kaboom though we wasted like a lot of resources farming kaboom he's still a good hero but it's just uh farming an easy stage for one through three star runes is gonna like make us lag way behind because we're not gonna be getting the four star runes anymore so it's gonna be kind of like pointless to farm farm kaboom like once you get your 15 soul stones i just don't see the point in farming easy stage because you're not gonna be getting like you're not gonna be getting um good runes from it you're just gonna be wasting energy just going for going for pointless stuff and i and i'm like thinking like if it's guaranteed should we be doing each like the 15 guaranteed like why well, i'm 15 guaranteed so we should just go for go for this and get like you're gonna get more than 15 each day you're gonna average like 20 soul stones because some drops give you two and each it says um 15 but it's per run so if you do one run and you get one soul stone it only counts as one but if you get three soul stones it still counts as one run so you're guaranteed the one run minimum 15 max is 45 you can get 45 soul stones if you just high roll it every time. But getting Wham Shell might be might be good, but I just don't see it. The chill being farmable now with the four star Oh well, this is resist. I thought it was ward. Yeah. So it might not be as good as I thought. I thought he was in the war dungeon. But chill being farmable now is huge. Especially if, since you can farm some Omni Stones for him. As well. So you get minimum like 15 plus the Omni Stone. So you can get like 18... 16 minimum guaranteed which is really good because chill is gonna be a really good hero for b7 i cleared um the light dungeon b7 because with this new quest that they put in i'm thinking of getting astro blast or nightmare since they're since they're light and dark uh, but I'm gonna wait uh, because I do have some I have six nightmare shards I have 15 chain reaction I have 46 tri tip I have 38 storm blade so I might farm storm blade up and I can get them in a few days so I'm gonna farm up storm blade I'm gonna go into the discord and farm him up and I have 24 ambush so my my two thoughts is either getting astro blast yeah but what if they nerf him like they just did a lot of balance changes and I don't remember I know they buffed the Freeze Blade, but then they removed him from being farmable, so we can't farm Freeze Blade anymore. But they buffed, um, they buffed Crypt King. They buffed, um, I forgot what his, like, his ability. His ability, um, what is it called? The uh, Endurance Drop? Diminish. They buffed Diminish, they buffed Freeze, and they reduced Broccoli Guy's healing. So I think um, Crypt King is gonna be... What do you mean? 
But in a future update, what I'm saying is we should just wait before we make up our mind who we're gonna get. Because Thornbury is a really good hero. Yeah, Ambush is better, but I haven't tried him out yet. The thing that I don't like about him is if he falls, his skill, his charge skill, which is his best skill in my opinion, Yeah, it's, if he falls down, his charge skill doesn't do much. I mean, his charge skill gets reset. And his second, like his five, this is this splintering punch costs too much mana, five mana. It should be four or less because it doesn't do much. And now they buffed his whack attack. But they increased it to one mana, so we're gonna see how much better he is. But I'm not gonna invest too much in him right now because he is a life hero, and my stealth off is already six star. So it's he's not a priority for me. But I'm between these two because Astro Blast is really strong. And you can, I believe you can get him to 6 star with all those, um, with the 250. You'll be able to unlock him and you'll have 200 left over. Which you won't be able to awaken unless you farm legendary Omni Stones and you farm his dungeon. That's what I'm, like, debating as well. Like, should we start farming the extreme dungeon for, like, Astro Blast or, St or Stormblade? Or one of these heroes, because once you get them, you have, you'll need, you'll need him, and then you'll, you might be able to awaken him. So imagine having a nap five awakened, two hundred and fifty soul stones. Like that's just huge to have, or like if you, if you only need like minimum fifty just to have them. So that's why I'm debating like. Should I go for Nightmare, Astro Blast, or possibly like Buckshot? That's not. I'm between these two. Buckshot is like a third option. I might get him. I might not. But I'm really torn because I already have six of Nightmare, but six isn't that much. Yeah, your Stormberry is amazing. But I'm gonna. This is my, like, short-term plan. Just get, um... Oh my god, this guy has Freeze Blade. Finally added me. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Should I waste one of my tries to get Freeze Blade? Or should I just go straight up for Storm Blade? Cause Freeze... I'm gonna get Freeze Blade because I need to work on him. Yeah, Bugshot is amazing, like, a really good arena team is Bugshot, and then that guy, the Robo, whatever, the machine, machine guy that, that looks like an archer, whatever, that guy's really strong in, in arena as well, and then another guy, like, I really struggle against, um, I think it's uh, either Spitfire, Buckshot, and Robo, or or um, Ember. Ember, I think, would be a more cons more consistent than Spitfire. But if you have like crit rate runes, like um, Spitfire might be better. But that team, like. Robo and Buckshot together, they just cover each other so much. Yeah, and, and we got the soul stones for um 
boomer so let's see if there's a blackout yeah so I need to set up a notification for Stormblade and then once I get um, Stormblade I need to set up a notification for uh, Astro Blast because I think I'm gonna go for Astro Blast both of them are really good but I see like who would be a better hero Astro Blast or nightmare. And I already have I already have blackout and I rolled my gems um this morning just because I was like I have so much energy, I'm so capped and I'll get more gems in the future. I don't really need to um I don't really need to do any, like, buying of, like, dungeons anymore because I was gonna refresh, chill, but I don't need to do that anymore since he's farmable now. And I actually got, um, my five point like my five point random epic was Enigma yeah that's where like going on discord like the thing about this game that I noticed is that new players are basically just dropped off the game the game came out about two months ago and new players they already farmed up to like level 30 or more, level 40, and the community isn't that, like, in my opinion, the community is not that great. Like, I went into the Discord server, I went into the general chat, where anybody can go and, like, make a comment about anything, and then I asked them, like, oh, I made, uh, I made a new guild, and I, I want to... I want to grow my guild up since I'm not as strong as some of these players that can do like 50,000 points on guild invasion and I can't farm B8 yet so I'm not I'm not in the position to join like a top 100 guild and then instead of like giving me advice because I asked them like is there a better way to recruit or anything instead of giving me advice some guys like um, you can just wait it out being without a guild and you can just, once you get strong enough, you can join a top guild. It doesn't take that long. So he basically completely ignored my question and then they just changed the subject like within like 10 minutes and I was just. Like, I didn't even reply because I was like, that was completely rude and I don't want to be, I don't want to come out, come off as rude as well. But like, that guy just completely, like, the one person that answered my question didn't even answer my question. They basically were like, yeah, it's pointless to be in a guild unless you can, yeah, Skylanders, like, when I was recruiting in global right here, this chat moves so slowly because nobody even looks at it. And then one in one chat channel, yeah, in one chat channel, I was sent like I was like just like spamming my thing, like my guild is recruiting. And then one guy was like, "Oh, you just missed it. Some guys looking for a guild." Like sarcastic comments. Like, the community isn't as great as Castle Clash, in my opinion. But the thing about the game, though, is that it hasn't been released in every country yet. So, there's still, like, more players that are going to join it. But we don't know if this game is going to really take off. 
because it's still relatively young. We're just the early adopters, supposedly. But in my opinion, let's talk about the Skylanders. In my opinion, Kaboom really fell um, with this update. Because you can't farm the four star um the four star runes anymore. And one of the heroes that might become more popular is this guy over here. Because you can get ten of his soul stones where you farm up your five star energy runes. And another one that's going to become popular besides Chill, which everybody and their mom is saying, is Flashwing could make a comeback, but um, where is she at? Earth. Mac. Earth. Get Barbarella now. It was, let me see which one it was. God damn it. Oh, it's in the mech dungeon. Yeah. It's this one. Gear shift. Everyone is saying that she's going to become the PVE. Because, um... She is better than Boomer, and you're going to be able to farm, um, B8, I believe, B8, no, not B8, B9, I think, it's B9, right, because fire is weak to, fire is weak to, um, mech. So she's gonna be a good B9 hero. And she's farmable now. So everybody is saying that she's gonna be in in a lot of B9 teams come in the future and also in Arena because they're gonna be farming her and awakening her. So some people said that um they're gonna start to farm Barbarella, because she counters, um, she counters gear shift in arena, so if you're going to be seeing a lot of gear shift, then you should go for Barbarella, and a B9 team is going to be Boomer, Barber, uh, gear shift, and your neutral tank, which would be, in my opinion, Chill. And I already took up my chill to four star before. I wasn't before the update. I wasn't able to get him up to four star because he was still level thirty nine. And after the update, I already got him up to level thirty nine four star, and I already powered him up to. I already powered him up to plus two. Now that you said that though, like, is Awakening a better option than Powering Up? Because Powering Up is just going to give us a few stats, but Awakening gives us, like, a new ability. Like, how much of a difference will that make? Because Power Up... Powering up gives you stats. But so does awakening. This gives you 100 attack, uh, 300 HP, 50 defense. And this gives you 50, 30, 30 attack, 20 defense, and about 70 
60 or 60 something. 69. 6, 7. 67, I think. HP. An awakening gives you 300. But you need 300 of the soul stones to awaken. You need 300 soul stones to awaken. And you need a legendary ore. And three of the medium ores. A mm. hundred attack. Fifty. And you get your skill upgraded. It's a tough call, honestly. And... What... Like, it's a really big upgrade, though. Focus aggro. Hold on 30 seconds. Like, the one that I think is really huge is her. Because reducing the mana cost makes it makes her wave more mana efficient. Because her skills are gonna be two mana. Yeah, and I think we don't need to power up heroes anymore. Like evolving them, like five star heroes already just became way more powerful. Five star and four star heroes. Became way more powerful because they they require less power ups, and you can you can save your stones to awaken them. My like kaboom in this update took a huge hit for new players, in my opinion, because now. You're going to have people, like new players that start out the game, they're going to have two star, two star Kaboom, and they're going to be farming. And now that Awakening is, in my opinion, like, more, more, like, easier to do, you're going to have people, like, I, I honestly think that I'm not going to six star Kaboom yet. Because the only reason people used to say like, oh, you should, you should, um, you should, uh, but there's no reason for it now. Because the only reason before the update that we should power up our hero to six star was that they would be capped at level 60, but now they remove the cap. Now they can go up to level 70 naturally. So you don't need to power them up to... to um, get them to 70. So now you can actually use your soul stones to awaken them. So you're gonna do less damage, but I feel like... it's kind of like... Like, look at it like this, like, once you get your Kaboom to 6 star, people say, oh, it's not that much, um, to get him to plus 5, people just usually stop 6 star, plus 0, because once you get him to plus 5, you're not gonna be, like, if you get any more soul stones for him, yeah, but once, once you get him to 6 star, Plus 5, it's only 150 attack. So, if you get, like, a better rune. Like, if I power up my rune, I get that same same 150 attack right here. I get 396. So, in my opinion, like, for Kaboom... Like, once you get him to 5 star, I don't know, 
I don't know, like, if you should plus him all the way to five or take him to six star because it's a lot of soul stones. Like, I think five star is enough, in my opinion, to then awaken him. And then power him up afterward. Because from 50 to 70 is a really long grind. And then you can upgrade his skill. I should have saved. I, I wasted a lot of soul stones yesterday powering him up. I wasted almost 100. I would have 200 right now. And then you... You need to power up to evolve. So you need, like, if you want to do that, you still need to power up to evolve. But what I'm saying is, if you want the awakened ability, then for certain heroes... Like for Kaboom, awakening him gives him AoE. His second skill goes from one enemy to all enemies. So that's huge. But for Stealth Elf, you should, you should power her up. Because her awakened ability does nothing. Like all it gives her is a cleanse. So for her, I would say... Power her up and evolve her. Like, you think it's situational. Like, Kaboomer? I would honestly... Like, he gains a lot of stats from... From getting powered up. But his first skill becomes AoE. So, if you just improve your rune quality, like power up your runes, like if you could get attack on this rune, this rune is, is fine for a 4 star rune, but it's kind of terrible. 1% crit rate, 1% crit damage, and effect accuracy, like I, just, I low rolled all of them, so this one could be way better, but it's fine. This one got defense as well, which could be HP, or, but I got a 4% attack roll, so I guess that's fine. And this one got a 4% crit rate, and 4% HP, so that's fine. And this rune needs to be attack. So this is a terrible rune, and I took it to plus 9 um, foolishly, so I wasted a lot of gold on this one. But this should be attack, and this should be attack as well. Or attack percentage. Flat attack, or attack percent. Which I believe you can get attack on slot 2. Or you can get crit rate. Crit rate, attack, or attack percentage. Crit rate... Is... Alright, it will take him up to about 70%. Let me see if he has any crit rate. Yeah, so, uh, 14% for him will take him about to 70%, 75%. So crit rate room for him will be pretty decent, but he doesn't need it. He would just need... Attack would be fine. Desperately needs attack. So that's what I'm saying too, look, like, our runes need, like, huge work, and using that excess energy for farming, um, Kaboom Soul Stones, like, non-guaranteed, I don't think it's worth it anymore, and um, also, like, when I'm thinking, like, it's a really tough call, but... Farming each scenario daily for the guaranteed soul stone drops might be 
like a good idea just to have diversity but then we're gonna spread ourselves too thin with the energy because like Mamsho's a really good hero but he's a two star hero and my opinion chill is just better you already know that and then like getting like 15 stealth elf soul stones like you don't need to awaken her you get like a lot of stats from awakening her but you don't need to awaken stealth elf so it's a, like should we farm these scenarios in case like they buff her in the future maybe change her awaken skill and what about that guy like should we farm this guy He's, uh, he's pretty terrible, but maybe they'll buff him in the future. Like, this guy sucks, but I already have 124 of his soul, soul stones. Like, should we farm him? This guy I'm definitely considering really heavily because this is Kaboom scenario, which was already good before, and he's already a good hero. And he could get buffed in the future. And we get strikes, soul stones. This is Gusto, the worst hero. Let's go back to four because we need to see easy scenario. We need to see easy. E this guy's pretty good too. Whirlwind actually. Yeah, and Rowan is actually a healer. Like, Rowan, healing, wind. Wind is one of those um, attributes that's really hard to come by. Wind and poison. So putting a farmable wind hero into the scenario is really good. And that guy's pretty decent. Like he's he's a healer though. And I was actually farming um jetpack. Uh you know for the I believe it's the green eggs. Um because I think Gusto yeah Gusto was an easy dungeon, like the stage seven. And Gusto sucks. Like honestly he just sucks. So for me, I, instead of farming Gusto, I went into normal, and I was farming Jetvac, and I unlocked him from the, through the, just getting the eggs. So, I think this guy is also very good. He's a buffer support hero, and he's farmable now. So I think that guy could um, see some play. Flashwing is also very good. Yeah, but Pokey doesn't know what he's doing. This guy sucks. I think. I have 200 of his soul stone, so... He has to be terrible. If he's that common. Flashwing. Earth. Life. Um, beats Mac, so she could see some play, but she's more for a PVE, and, uh, I don't, I don't, we need to see, like, for B8 and B9 and B10. Now, this guy, I'm gonna try and start farming, um, Boomer. I'm gonna see, it. like, the thing about it, though, is, um... Uh, my best heroes are weak to this dungeon, and only my stealth elf can beat it. So I really need to work on just heroes that are neutral to the dungeon, like my freeze blade, or somebody. Like once I start working on this team, look, this team once they get like. So he doesn't have a leader belly, but she does. She increases accuracy. 
So once this team gets stronger, this is gonna be my this is gonna be one of my like my farming teams. Especially for I believe let's see the scenario. B eight. Yeah, for B eight it's gonna be killer in here. Because um let's see if I can beat B seven actually. So we're gonna go with um her and we're gonna go with her and I actually changed the first ability to the last ability because this ability removes buffs. Removes one buff and gains a thirty percent to activate crit hit. So I'm gonna see if I can beat it um get rid of that guy. Put in chill and her. And we're gonna see if I can beat it. Oh, we need to change the skill. Good thing I caught it. Because that would have been devastating not having her crit ability. I used to use that. Um, and let's see if we can beat it. I've beaten already four of the seventh floors. So, I need to see if I can beat this one. If I can beat this one, it's gonna help um, farming runes. Because I do need a 5 star rune. So I can power it up 5 times and get some Enigma soul stones. Which I also started working on Enigma because um, he's pretty decent. And he grants, a, he grants an invincibility. So I can use him for farming um, that 40 floor dungeon because I don't want to waste any energy on it. And that invincibility could be useful for it. So right now we're going to two star it more than likely if we win. We can two star it. Because um, at this speed, we're not going to be able to. We're not going to be able to three star it because it's too slow. But just getting a two star will be fine. And then once we get stronger runes, just from farming it. We'll be able to three star it eventually. Um, if you notice, I'm actually pushing um, the charge skill because the AI doesn't like to. The AI doesn't like to use the charge skill, so I have to do it manually. All right, so. Ember almost died there, but she managed to survive. So what I like to do is I like to lead off with the... Uh, took out my Ember. That sucks. I oh, need to focus the boss. They're not focusing on the boss. This is terrible. We're gonna lose... Because they didn't focus the boss. They just wasted so much of their HP. And they hit this thing over here on the side. And it's super unlikely that Stealth Elf is going to be able to take it off on her own. Man, it would have been nice if he would have targeted... Tompy, but I'm gonna try again because um we can we could have beat him if we got lucky on our on our rolls. But if we would if they wouldn't have targeted that thing on the side, we would have won easily. That's what's annoying about like the AI. Like why are they targeting that thing on the side when they should have just been targeting the boss? And I forgot to click on target boss. 
So that was my bad, but I think we could beat it right here. And then the next step after beating it will be to um, three star it. No, this time the AI actually used the charge skill, so now I'm gonna use it. And that's what I like to see, just the AI making smart decisions. And this one is actually going much better in my opinion. Chompy's getting hit. Oh man, that was unfortunate that that one didn't kill. But we got that right there. Alright. And I like to target the middle guy because he gives them drain, which heals them. And we might actually lose the stealth off right here, which is unfortunate. Yeah, but if we can kill that thing in the on the edges, because these guys are buffers. And we need to heal, we desperately need to heal. No, come on, dude, how was it? How did she die, man? Like, I hate it when they do that, they target one character. And then you just lose on, we just lost our stealth off, which is our huge damage dealer. And this is gonna, he just crit us too, that's unfortunate. So this is my last attempt. If we don't beat it, I'm not gonna try again because it's wasting too much energy. And we can't get a consistent win, which is unfortunate. Yes, so we managed to get the win. I can't believe it. So hopefully we get a 5 star run right here. Come on, high roll. 4 star premium. That's pretty good. Energy. I'll take it. Though we low rolled. Yeah, you lose. But I win. That's how it's done. And we got a premium 4 star room energy. That's pretty good. Energy is, is alright. I wanted a 5 star but I'll take the 4 star. It's usable. Because uh, slot 1. So. Do the 1% HP, we low rolled on that, but it's fine. I haven't done any of this dungeon because I don't want to like waste the energy on it since I don't really need it at the moment. And I instead chose this dungeon, which is also one of the reasons why I'm meaning Astro Blast because I already have um, some ores for light. I have 13 of these, so I could actually make a legendary one, which will help me out when I um, need to power him up or awaken him, since you do need a lot of these to awaken them. You need a legendary one, so I could already make the legendary. And the same with poison, like, if I get a good, like, for my Crypt King, I can, if I can awaken him, which I believe Crypt King is farmable now too, so that's also a hero that I'm leaning on since he also got powered up, and I only need 40 soul stones to awaken him, 
Wait, so let's see what his leader ability does. What his awakened ability? Slashes an enemy with his broadsword. Launches sword towards an enemy. If the enemy is defeated, decreases cold skill cooldown time by five seconds. For all allies, regains mana by one point. Which I think it, is he farmable? Let me see if he's farmable. Because if he is farmable, then I might farm him today. Actually, um. Yes, he's farmable. So you know what? I'm actually gonna awaken him today. Yeah, so I'm gonna awaken Crypt King today since I already have 260 of them. Since we're so close. And you don't even need that much to like... Power him up. Because his awakened ability is really good. If the enemy is defeated, decrease skill cooldown time by 5 seconds for all allies. For all allies and regains mana by 1 point. That's huge. And so we need to run them. Let's see what other people are using. This guy's Chinese. I can't read that. Or Korean. It looks Korean. Focus it. Uh, Effect accuracy, focus, that's actually pretty good. Let's see what this guy has on him. This guy just put a mess on that guy. There's no good, um... And nobody is using him. I'm gonna awaken him right now, because I feel Crypt King is gonna be good. It's kind of easy though, that's what sucks about it. And Cinder, that's also a, a good Skylander. Yeah, she ignores your defense, like, she only, she ignores your runes and goes for your base defense, which is huge. So I think these two are gonna be pretty powerful. Not together, but pretty powerful in the upcoming meta. Especially, like, for... For the 7th floor, actually. If I start using up uh, my Crypt King, it'll allow me to more consistently beat this dungeon. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna do that right now. So what I'm going to do is combine for a legendary. And then I still have three left over, which we need three to awaken him. So we have the necessary ores and... We have the necessary ores. We just need 40, which we can get um, about 20 ish guaranteed. And is that for him? He's an expert. I believe I have some expert. Let me see. Materials. Expert. Is that support? Expert home. No, how is it? Oh, because we need blue ones. Dang, that sucks. Alright, let's see. We can get, um, we can get minimum around 20. So we're gonna do that. And I don't care what runes. Fatal increases crit rate. So we want slot 2. Slot 2 fatal. And, and this. Dungeon. I am going to try out my chill. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do just to get him that extra experience. And then 
go with him. Her. Uh, Crip King. Yeah, so let's do that. And let's see how it actually goes. And there's no... There's no lag today, like yesterday there was a lot of lag. So he needs to do his first kill. <laughs> so whenever they attack, they're gonna target, um... They're gonna target him. See that? For two turns, they target him, two attacks. Yeah, so I think by tomorrow, I could get him guaranteed. Um, because... You get 15 minimum, and we need 40. So I'm just gonna do the 15 today, um, and then just awaken him tomorrow, because it's not a priority for me. He's a really good hero, but he's still really low level. So now I'm actually gonna awaken him tomorrow, and... After I awaken him, I'm going to use him more. I'll still farm his soul stones. But now that he's awakened. He's going to be way, way better. And I was fortunate because. I kept getting. My Crypt King soul stones. And I also got 75 from the event. Which is great, and that's what I was like. I was telling you about like instead of getting dive clubs, which I don't remember if he's farmable or not. But instead of getting um dive clubs, I actually went and got seventy five of his all stones, and now that he's farmable, I can actually awaken him. So that's what I was saying, like. It's the same thing with Kaboom, like, we can, we, Awakening Heroes now, I feel like, is a better way to go, because, certain, ooh, four? I didn't know you could get four in one run. Did you see that? Four? And they count as one run. So now I... I can get, uh, like, 20, 20-ish soul stones from this time stand. We're gonna see how many I actually get. But I think I can get, like, it's gonna be around 20 from this 10. It's gonna be more than, more than 10. It's gonna be closer to 15 with 15 more runs to go. I mean, with five more runs to go. So they actually did a huge buff to the farmable heroes, but they killed off the semi-farmable units. So now it's not really worth, like, refreshing the dungeons. Like, even in the... In the patch notes, they said they lowered the cost, but it's not even worth it. I think the only ones that are worth it are the Omnistone ones, where you can get like rare and epic. And I'm pretty sure you could do legendaries too, but that's on the final stage, which is really hard to beat. I don't, I don't know if it's beatable yet. Um, I haven't really seen uh, much about it, but like refreshing the. Stage 7 now is not really worth it. 
you don't have to reduce price. Like, I think it's 40 for easy, 60 for normal, and 100 for hard. But you only get half a soul stone now. Before you used to get two soul stones. So it's like, why are we doing these refreshes? Like, you see that? That's three right there. So, we're gonna be refreshing the dungeon for just half a soul stone. Two, I think you get one and a half soul stones on average. One and a half to two soul stones, which before you used to get six for just 20 more gems. It's not really worth it. So, energy supposedly is still the way to go, but honestly, I have so much energy, and I don't know if Bloody, like, works, or if he just plays all day, but I don't know how he has, like, energy problems, because I wake up, like, at 6 in the morning, and then I do, like, a few runs. Like, depending on what I'm farming, like, if I'm farming, um, soul stones, like, I farmed the Kaboom soul stones when I woke up, and I powered up some heroes, just to see, like, the update and all that stuff. <laughs> but, I never have an energy problem yet. So... I guess it's different for different stages, but there we go, till we reach level 40. Did they take out the, they said they took out some achievements and we lost some gems from that, but I didn't really see that, so I'm gonna look at that after these 10 runs, and I think we're gonna get, my prediction is 20 soul stones from these 10 runs. Because we got a run with 4 and a run with 3, so that's already 10 plus. We're already like at 15, I think, because that's a plus 2, plus 3 and plus 2, that's 5, so we're at 15 minimum. And I haven't been paying attention, but... I feel like we can get five more soul stones. So let's see if we can actually do it. I feel like we can have the luck right here. Let's see. Oh, and something that, um, I don't know if you do this, but for boss stages, like any stage that has a boss, you should actually give Kaboom his missile skill because it reduces buffs. I don't know if you do that. But that's something that I actually started doing. Because I used to have his 2 mana skill because it was like a soft AoE ability since it hits 2 times or 2 targets. But for boss stages you don't really need like the, the AoE. Like that's what I started to notice like AoE abilities like once the enemies get stronger like AoE is good when you're starting out because it helps you clear them faster but they're not as strong as like a direct attack that's why for my boomer i actually stopped using his six mana ability and i only use the two mana and the four mana and once you awaken boomer his um 
His first ability becomes AoE, so that's actually like a replacement for it. Oh man, I thought that was a 7. But it's just a 1. Alright, so I, I think um, my final prediction is 18 soul stones. 18 or 19. That's greedy, but I saw 4 and 3 on 2 runs. So that's just uh, my low ball prediction of 20, 18 to 20 soul stones. And the crazy thing is, if you do high roll on your 15 runs, high roll, high roll, like three, you can actually get way more than 45. If you high roll four each time, you can get 40 from the first 10 and then 20 from the next five. So you can get 60 soul stones from your 15 runs if you high roll, which is super unlikely, but it could happen. It might happen to somebody in the future. If you just high roll on your 15 runs, you can get 60 soul stones. Super unlikely, but it's possible. Like, look, we got 16 soul stones and I'll back out. We got 16. But look at this, so like, we still have 5 guaranteed drops. See? So that's actually better than what we initially thought. Each run is guaranteed one drop, and it's not 15 total, so you can get, I've seen four on a single drop, so you can get minimum 15 soul stones if you're really unlucky, and you don't get more than one on any drop, or you can get maximum 60 soul stones. If you just high roll like crazy and then buy a lottery ticket because that's insane. So right here I'm actually going to pay attention so we don't waste energy. And I'm going to stop it on the fifth run. Hopefully we get a few soul stones right here. So we already got, um, we're going to get already... 20 from this. That's why I'm saying tomorrow we're more than likely gonna awaken um, Crypt King. And then for the rest of the day, uh, I'm not gonna farm Kaboom anymore, honestly, because that's a huge nerf. Getting one to three star runes is not gonna cut it so i'm actually gonna move on to um incinerator and that's gonna be the the new hero that i work on because i i'm pretty sure b8 b9 is a wind dungeon that's why he's good in it and my kaboom I'm still going to do the 15 runs daily, but I'm not going to do more than those 15 runs because it's just not worth it. And I'm also going to, like, this is just my point of view, but you should do, like, heroes that you're going to work on and upgrade. You should do the 15 runs if you can beat the stages. My stealth elf, once you get her to 6 star, I don't know if it's worth awakening her. Like, for the extra stats, it might be worth it. 
But I just feel like her awakened ability is not that great. So I don't know if she's worth farming for. Wait, what? Okay, we're on the second one. But getting the extra attack might be worth it. Where sometimes she low rolls and then the enemy survives with a bit of HP. But you could just power her up once you like roll some heroes or whatever. Once you do some summonings, you might get some of her soul stones. So you can actually just either wait or power her up. Am I using Broccoli Guy in this scenario? I just noticed I'm using Broccoli Guy. How did I not notice before this? We did 10 runs and I never noticed Broccoli Guy. Actually, when I started playing the game, I didn't even know we had villains, and they walk you through it in the tutorial. When you, like, when you, um, when I redid my Smurf account, I went in and did it again, and then I noticed the villains. But the first time that I, like, once I installed the game and started playing, I didn't even notice villains. I, I didn't even know Broccoli Guy was there until I was, until I stopped playing and did a auto run, and then the AI summoned Broccoli Guy, and I was like, what? He was there? Like I was playing in arena. I was doing. I was already like in stage five, and I had no idea there was villains. So let's see, it's already 10, we started at around 9, so we already went for an hour, so after these 5 rounds I'll probably end the stream, and then tomorrow, is Saturday, guild, um, yeah tomorrow's Saturday, so... We'll see if I'm not busy I'll do a stream if not then I'll stream Guild Wars uh, we lost Guild Wars and Sovereign we got second place but we scored like 90,000 points the first place guild had a lot of Smurfs that uh, they were basically just um, a 50 percenting um, bases, Anton Smurf got attacked like 50 times and they hit him for a thousand points and they were just 50 percenting his bases. Alright, I think that's it, right? So we got six. Six more and 16 on the last one. So we got 22. 22 soul stones and we need a 19. Now we need a 39. So by tomorrow it's almost a guaranteed. Okay, okay. If I need just a couple more tomorrow. We need 17, yeah, so we should get them, unless we're super unlucky, we should get them tomorrow, Awakened, and I'm actually going to start leveling him up, and working on his runes, effect accuracy, he's going to be really good with his Awakened ability, decreases if the enemy is defeated, Decreases scale cold on time by 5 seconds for all allies. Like when he kills somebody, he's gonna be good. And he gain he regains mana. And actually his second ability, like if you level up his first ability, He's actually really good. He reduces the cooldown time. Even 
further, like awakening him decreases skill gold on time by five seconds, and then when you level up his skill, another minus two. He decreases minus seven. That's a lot. I'm actually gonna use my skill stone on him. Hopefully the second one is a medium. Oh no, actually we're gonna need um. Yeah, his first skill is his first skill ability. Like his first skill needs a lot of soul, um skill stones. And it's, I believe it's gonna be a while before we even run into medium. So I'm gonna hold on to it for now. But his first skill really needs to be um, skilled up for him to be good. So we got 50 gems from Jill. Uh, I am not in Genie. So the update is really good for pay to play. They can power up, evolve, awaken at any level now. Uh, for free to play, um, we lost 21 farmable characters, which sucks. And we lost the semi farmable characters. Um, Freeze Blade, we lost Freeze Blade, huge blow. I was farming him up, now we can't farm him anymore. And using the Omni Stone, it's one Omni Stone per three tries, and then you have to refresh it. Um, which cost for Epic Heroes, I believe it's gonna cost 100 gems, and you only get one soul stone like the equivalent of one soul stone so it's not worth it um chill became farmable which is great because i was already i used 120 gems to farm uh, some extra soul stones and now with the update you can farm 15 to, to six, 60 of his soul stones per day which is amazing if you high roll that high that's gonna be huge I got him to 4 star and I'm gonna take him to 5 star once he's at 5 star I'm gonna go for awakening that's just what I feel getting a hero to 5 star should be the minimum because it's not as many soul stones but once you're at 5 star, it starts to rack up. 5 star, you need 55 to 4 plus 4. And I believe it goes up by like... Let me see. You need 25 for that one. Yeah, you need 40 to plus 1, I believe. No, you need 30. 30 to plus 1. 45 to plus 2. And then you need, it's different for each, like at each level, he's a 4 star, so you need 45 right there, you need 55 to plus 5, so you need around like 30, 45, 75. 55 and let's say it was 45 no it was not 45 it was probably 50 so you need at least 200 soul stones to 250 ish soul stones to yeah that's how many they give you from the from this so you need around 250 soul stones to 6 star a character and you need 300 to awaken them so it's only 50 soul stones like the difference and some other abilities are huge like kaboom to his ability turns into an aoe 
so from five star to six star the difference is about 150 stats so I believe awakening might be the better way to go for certain heroes like obviously in my opinion um, stealth elf you don't really need to awaken her her awakened ability is just a cleanse doesn't really affect her that much it's about 150 is it 150, 80, 6, 146, 146 I think, attack, and it gets a nice boost, it, re it really is a nice boost, 46 defense and about 300 HP and about 150 attack. So, it'll really help her out, but it's not necessary. Once you get her to 6 star, awakening her is not a priority, because it uses up a lot of energy. But for heroes like Boomer, like, I made the mistake and you part him up already plus 1, so I wasted 30, but I... After this, I feel like I'm gonna awaken him because his ability becomes AoE and the awakening is roughly about the same stats as taking him to plus X. And the reason a lot of people used to say like, oh, just take him up to to 6 star and then awaken was because you would be capped like my kaboom was gonna get capped at level 60 today if the update didn't remove that level cap so then I would agree like oh it's worth it to to level him up to um six star and I was doing that but now my opinion I wasted those four power ups on him because I could have awakened his scale. I did my summoning today and I got 66 um salt stones on a kaboom drop which was amazing but I could have used all of those, um, like I had enough ores to awaken him, so I would have an awakened kaboom, and then I could just power him up afterwards. But in the end, you need to do both, so f what I'm actually gonna do is just farm him up slowly. And just awaken him first. Because there's no there's no cap anymore. But from besides those 15 guaranteed runs, I'm not going to do more than that. What I'm actually going to do is farm up... Um, farm up this guy. Since he's really good. And besides the heroes, these are the heroes that I feel are going to be my farmable unit. So obviously the first priority, chill. That's what I'm going to do once I end the stream. I'm going to farm chill, his 15 guaranteed drop. And I'm going to 5 star him. I'm going to 5 star him first because I feel like. 5 star should be like minimum, minimum 5 star, but that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm going to do some research and see what other people are saying and seeing like, is it, is it worth it to like 5 star a hero because it's not that much. Now from 5 star to 6 star. 
I'm gonna awaken them first. Because the difference is about, the stat difference is about the same. But awakening provides them an additional boost to their skill. Some heroes, that awakened skill makes a huge difference. Like for Chill, it adds a turn to his focus aggro. And it turns it into three turns. Which could be huge because that means he tanks all three attacks. He tanks all three attacks from the enemies. And they have to target him. So if you run into a scenario, like B9 I believe is... Let's, let's look at it. In a scenario where there's three targets, B9. The boss stage, there's three bosses. Uh, most stages, I believe there's um, three to five of the opposition. So he'll tank three hits. And on the boss stage, he'll tank all three hits. So for that alone, and in the water stage, he's neutral to it, or maybe he resists because I don't know if um, they resist their own element. I believe they do. So that's huge right there. So awakening for like him, huge. For somebody like Stealth Elf, her awakened ability is just a cleanse. Which is nice, but it's not as game changing as the focus aggro. And the same thing with this guy. I'm gonna take him to five star and then awaken him. Because I feel I feel that his awakened ability let's see it. Six mana, six mana slams one enemy, one enemy. Cast defensive down for two turns. And cast defensive if that if you attack an enemy under or casting the effect on, then grants attack up for one turn to all allies. With the highest attack. Yeah, so he grants an attack up for one turn. When awakened, that's pretty good. That's actually similar to um, Ember's uh, leader ability. So you can get, I believe, with Ember, yeah, you can get a nice. Att uh, attack boost at the start of battle so that's actually pretty huge so I'm actually gonna farm chill and then I'm gonna farm um, what's his face incinerator igniter and then the rest I'm not sure yet but by the end of the day before reset I'm gonna see like which heroes are worth it Boomer, I don't know if I can beat this dungeon, this scenario. Once I'm able to beat it, I'll farm it, but at the moment, I don't think I'm able to farm it. Yeah, at the moment, I just don't see me beating it, but definitely, he's one of the ones I want. And she's, she's a popular choice right now to become a farmable unit. But I can't be um, hard stage yet. I haven't tried. Ninjini, uh, Spyro, no. Crypt King, yes. I'm gonna farm him. I'm gonna see. I could probably be on um, this normal stage. Not with him yet. But, oh, she's already in there. Maybe with um, Pyroblast. Maybe. I don't wanna I don't wanna waste energy. So I'm definitely gonna see. Um Cinder is also a very good a very good hero. Um another choice. Like this these two poison heroes are really good. Um her, I'm not too sure. 
But I don't see a lot of people like talking about her. Now this is what I was talking about. You can actually get um, rare Omni Stone, and legendary, and epic. So that, that's nice. But you can get two to four. So that's two. Two to four. So that's one to two soul stones. So it's like. They just basically nerfed that. Um, you can get Shadow Spitfire and Hard. This is nice, but I forget um, Igniter, I think. So I don't know. Yeah, and I don't have the 10th floor open just yet because I stopped doing it. And the mission, the quest. I need a 5 star rune. I don't have a 5 star rune just yet. So, yeah, let me see what's the next one. Power up a scanner three times. That's gonna be nice. And then, yeah. So it's already 10.30, so I need to, I'm gonna end the stream right here. I hope you enjoyed it. And those are my thoughts on the update. Um, there's some good changes. Some really good changes, the guaranteed drop, the arena defense, I haven't done much arena, but I'm still in, I was in gold last night, and I ran into some losses before the update, but I don't see anybody attacking me. I did one attack, but then I have to, I had to refresh because everybody was way stronger than me. And this guy's gonna be tough to beat. He's at plus three with his Spitfire, so that means he's pay to play. Yeah, so I can't beat any of these guys. Like, could I beat this guy? He has a plus five on his that thing. He has two weaknesses to mine. I'm weak to that rattlesnake. Let's try it out. What I'll do is I'll target his um, dino guy. And hopefully we can kill him. And if not, then we're probably going to lose. So we're going to target that guy. Yeah, we couldn't beat it. So we're going to... So now we have the advantage on these two guys, and they should be easy picking right here. Boom, we won. And yeah, that was a close one. And now I'm back into gold one, which is very nice. So I'm actually gonna wait. And yeah, I'm ending the, the stream right here. It was a fun stream. Um, I really like doing these Skylander streams. I wish I could do the face cam, but it really likes the game out. So, Sunday I'm gonna do Guild Wars. Um, besides that, I don't really... Uh, streaming Castle Clash, there's really not much to do for me. Like, Lost Battlefield will take like 5 minutes. Um, there's nothing really to do in that game anymore. Lost Realm is boring to watch. So yeah. If you want me to do something on Castle Clash, like maybe live stream Lost Battlefield. But that, like doing it in the morning, I really don't like to do it. But if you want, I could do that. Like at 23 my time or maybe later. But that's very unlikely. So yeah, peace out, and I hope you had fun, and if you're watching it in the playback, 
let me know what you think about the update and if you wanna try it out my guild is basically just me at the moment my buddy Jim might join it soon maybe not but I'm still trying to recruit I'm not gonna give up on it so yeah peace out